we're just trying to standardize how we're counting our blood loss. So we have a section for sponges and a section for suction and an area for your total. So if I looked in my suction and I have 200 of blood in there, I'm writing it here and then putting it as my total because I haven't weighed any sponges yet. So I'll weigh my first pack of sponges, so it's five, and the scale has been zero prior to this. I've got 50 of my sponges, so I'm gonna put 50 here, and then these two columns should con continue to add up. So 200 plus 50 is 250. So anesthesia only needs to look at one number for your total of blood loss, but you also know that your suction, what's in your suction canister is different than what you have in your sponges. So if I have another 100 in my suction, this goes up to 300. So again, 300 plus 50, we're at 350. And then I weigh another pack of sponges again. So I have 100 in my sponges. This is 150. So two packs of five sponges have been counted off and weighed. So we're at 450 here. So that's your total blood loss. And then your irrigation, you would keep your bottles and suck up the remainder at the end of your case to finalize your numbers.